So in my last video, I presented to you a really big hot topic in South Korea right now, which is about a young girl named Jungin who was adopted by a foster family and sadly was neglected, abused, and eventually died. Well, recently they had the trial last week for the parents and let me tell you, these parents are gonna have to pay for what they've done. More of that in this video. What's up y'all, this is your boy Mike and I'm here to update you on everything that is happening in the Jungin child abuse case. So if you've seen my last video, I explained to you just the background as to what is happening with uh, this case where these parents abused their child and the child died as a result and how tons of Koreans are extremely angry not only at the parents but also at the police force as well as just the government in general for not taking swifter action. Last week, both parents attended the trial for the accidental death of Jungin. So one big change of this is the mother was originally charged with neglect and child abuse, but now the prosecution is pushing for her to be charged with murder. So according to the defendant with surname An and her lawyer, she had no intentions of killing the child, but she did admit to abusing her child. So possible injuries that she admits to causing is a cracked clavicle as well as a cracked ribs. But she denies ever fracturing the baby's skull as well as the baby's pelvis. Which fracturing her clavicle and her ribs is worse enough in itself. So according to them, they did not realize how bad Jungin's condition was until after she passed and there was an investigation. But you would think after you would shake your child, drop the child, and on the way to falling, the child bumps into a chair, then hits the floor, that you would take someone to the hospital. But that never happened. But on the other hand, the prosecution was fully ready to push murder charges with the help of forensics. Based on the simulations and the data, they conclude that there was no way possible for this mother to have accidentally killed her child. So as I mentioned in the video before, the autopsy revealed that Jung Ying took some serious trauma to her pancreas as well as she was hit so hard in her core that her intestines started to detach from her abdominal wall. One possibility is that mom may have stomped on her daughter. According to the prosecution, the main emphasis is that the defendant stepped on the victim with strong force even though she knew the victim could die from being hit with strong force after being continuously abused. Although the defendant says that this was not intentional, the one thing that the prosecution does believe is that this was either a willing kill or this was a reckless murder. Either way, both deserve severe punishment. So I want to also tell you what it was like at the courthouse as well that day. And you can probably guess it. The Seoul Southern District Court was full of activists and pretty pissed off people at those parents. Many of the people there were requesting for them to receive the death penalty. It was also full of flowers and wreaths for Jung Yin as well. I mean, if you really want to get an idea what it was like, just look at this. So in my last video, many of you were commenting about the police and how they deserve a lot of the blame as well. Well, as you can imagine, they are feeling a lot of the heat for not acting any sooner, considering that there were many, many reports that went to the police, and if they would have acted sooner, Jung Yin probably would still be alive. Kim Chang Yong, the Commissioner General of the Korean National Police Agency, expressed great regret in the department's slow actions. The local police chief presiding over the case was also removed from his post. Sadly, they're way too late to do anything useful at this point. You know, and for many years now, many people are pretty upset at how easy it is for these children who are adopted to be abused and die due to neglect as well. The Korean Women Lawyers Association said, 28 adopted children had died in 2018 alone from abuse, according to the National Center for the Rights of the Child and 80% of the child abuse takes place within the family. So from what I've heard, they are looking to establish new laws in South Korea for child abuse. So I'm extremely happy that they're trying to progress towards safer environments for children who are adopted, 
But I also believe that people need to be re-educated as to child abuse and how to either report child abuse or just avoid or not letting these people get these children. I really do love South Korea, but sometimes I feel that the police force and sometimes the government may be more reactive than more preventative in certain things that may happen. But you know, we're constantly hoping and constantly praying for new positive change. So I just want to know, how, how upset are you at this case? Are you really furious? According to my previous video's comments, a lot of you are angry. Are you satisfied with the mother possibly getting a murder charge for this? If so, let us know in the comment box below. Also, do you think the father also deserves the same charge? Again, let me know in the comment box below what you think. If you have not seen the first video on this case, make sure you click here to catch yourself up. Subscribe to the channel on more content on Korean culture and news, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.